All right, let me know when we're rolling, okay? Oh, yeah. We are, we are, we are. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. All right, everybody, you ready for this? It's our latest hit song. Two, three, four. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. What? 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 Wait a minute. That's the wrong note. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm just a no little problem. nervous. I know. We can edit that out. <laughs> okay. Kids today know all about editing. <laughs> yeah, they do. So here we go. Uh, got it. You got it? Got it. You sure? Mm -hmm. All right. From the top. All right. Okay. All right, everybody. You ready for this? It's our latest hit song. Two, three, four. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Uh. Two, three, four. Ah! Oh, that's too high. Two, three, four. Too low. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's try it one more time. <laughs> oh, so and so show. I couldn't have done it better myself. And then the smell got so bad, I was like, forget it. I'm not trying to rehydrate jerky. Oh! Hello! 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 <laughs> Welcome to the So and So Show, I'm John. I'm Brandon. It's so great to be here with my oldest and dearest friend putting on a show for all of you. Wow, really? Yeah. Me? Oldest and dearest? That's right. Well, I mean, I get oldest, but dearest? It's true. Wow, that makes me feel special. Mm -hmm. And what about me? Oh, no, no, you feel fine. No, 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 I'm asking if I'm the oldest and dearest friend to you. Oh, I don't know, that's a big question. I mean, friendship is a very serious thing for me. Well, as, I, as I've always be, believed yeah. that you should put some thought into who you're gonna be friends with. You don't, you don't wanna go around making friends all, you know, willy-nilly. You know what I'm saying? I think so. I mean, I've yeah. met so many people in my life. How am I supposed to decide who's merely an acquaintance and who gets to pass into my inner friendship circle? Okay, what does your heart tell you? Yeah, you're right. There's no way to know for sure. Really? What? Unless... Hello everyone, and welcome to So You Wanna Be John's Friend, the show where our contestants compete to see who has the qualities best suited for friendship for a guy like John. Up first in tonight's competition. He's a host of a long running show seen by children all over the world. Born in a small town in the mid to late 1900s, this potential friend spends his time entertaining and educating. He likes to read books and watch movies, and he seems like a really nice guy. One would never know by looking at him how truly lonely he is. Whoa, what an interesting competitor. But does he have what it takes to be John's friend? Let's find out. Please welcome Brandon. <laughs> I'm really not, I'm not sure why I'm doing this. I've known you for like 20 years. Um, I think I make a good friend because uh, I'm loyal. Um, I'm usually pretty generous. Uh, I share. Boo, 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 this is terrible. You say you want to be John's friend, eh? Well, you're just talking. Where's your talent? Oh, I didn't. Re I didn't know this was a talent competition. I didn't know this. Pshaw! You know, John can't be friends with somebody who has no talent. Okay, I didn't. So, I'm, what, do you, what, what do you want me Sing. to do? A song. Sing. A song. But I'm not. Sing. No. I, I have lyrics come out of your mouth. I Hold. wasn't. Let's move now. There is a castle on a cloud. Boom. All right. You want a talented friend? You want a talented friend? 
I'll give you a talented friend. Wow! That was quite a performance. Judges, what do you think? That was very moving. I was touched. I, I hope that John picks you to be his friend. I truly do. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, John has made his decision. He will now choose a friend. Brandon, we've known each other for a very long time. Yeah. And you are very dear to me. Thanks. This celery stalk is for you. Will you be my friend? <laughs> Yay, my friend! It's Bible story time with Kellen. Yay! Are you gonna do this? Hey, fellas! Kellen, my friend! What's up, friend? I totally value your friendship. Wow, thank you so much. Right back at you. You got a story for us? Oh, you know I do. Today's story is about the importance of, well, friendship. These verses come from the book of Ecclesiastes, which was written by a very wise teacher named... Horvath. That's my faces! Well, speaking of friends, this is my friend Horvath. That's right! I am Horvath. I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger! Ah. Yep. Plus, good friends help each other out. So I'm so glad you're here to help me out. Well, let's do this! Ah! So, like I was saying, these verses are from the book of Ecclesiastes. Huh? Uh, Ecclesiastes. Huh? Ecclesi huh? It's a book in the Bible. It's a word that means teacher. Oh, Ecclesiastes. Yeah, right. Um, well, here's what the teacher wrote about friendship. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. All right, first exercise. Oh, okay. Okay, I call this the two-person invisible chairs. You stand back to back with your best friend oh. like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then you sit down together in your invisible chair using your friend for support like this. Oh, okay. And we do this 109 times. Well, that seems Go. Like, oh, okay. One. One. 27. 27. <laughs> Angel food cakes. Mm, I like that. Lawn green. <laughs> Hundred and nine! Yeah! That was great! Woo. You make me laugh. Well, <laughs> thank you. That helped prove the teacher's point, Horvath. Yeah, I did! Two people are better than one. You could not do that exercise by yourself. No! no. One! Oh. oh, oh, no, no, here, here, here. Ah! 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 Oh. You, you okay? Yeah, let's do this! <laughs> ah! Right. Oh, okay. oh right. <laughs> the verse continues. Suppose either of them falls down, then one can help the other one up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up. Then feel sorry for that person. Yeah. It's good to have a friend around, and not when you just physically fall down. Uh. You can help others when you're struggling with schoolwork. They can listen when you've got problems you need to talk about. Uh -huh. Friends can help carry each other through tough times. Oh, all right, next exercise. I call it the friend carry. So you grab your friend by the waist and lift him like this. Face that way. Oh, okay. Okay, I grab your waist. Ready? Oh. One, two, three. Boom! Oh. Okay, we do this 499 times. Oh, wait, are you going Okay, here we go. Ready? One. Oh, nine. nine. Small business loan. Cha-cha-cha-chia. Yeah. 
Later, Hosen! 499! Okay, your turn! Your turn! Your turn! Your turn! Let me! 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 I am so sorry, Horvath. You are too heavy for me. I'm not heavy. I'm your brother. You're my... Let's do this! Oh, okay, uh, the next part of the verse. One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. A rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. No! Well, that's another way friends can be there for one another. If you're being picked on or talked about behind your back, a friend can stand up for you. Some people think three cords in the verse represents you, your friend, and God. So when you have friends who trust God and follow Jesus, it can help you stand stronger. I love it! Oh! <laughs> Next exercise! Okay, it takes two to stand. Stand on one foot, then choose a friend to stand on one foot. You! Oh, okay. Then put your arm around your friend and hop in a circle together like this. Here we go. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, very good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, hey. We do this 40 million times. Wait, that's not possible. Go! Oh, okay. One. Three. Three. <laughs> Max Headroom. I remember that guy. <laughs> She's Danish. We have to be close. 40 million. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Oh. Uh, a little dizzy. We did it, and I could not have done it without you, my friend. I'm dizzy. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. There we go. So friends are important. Uh -huh. That's why you should choose your friends carefully. Choose a friend that will be there for you, who will carry you through the tough times, and who will stand up for you. You can ask God to help you find a friend like that. Uh -huh. And here's another tip. Uh -huh. If you want to have a good friend, uh -huh. it's a good idea to be a good friend. Uh -huh. Feeling better, Horvath? Yes, thank you, Kellens! No problem, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye! Let me just grab my invisible chairs. Invisible chair! I, I don't think... Invisible, oh, there it is! Oh. Always oh, lift on their knees. Oh, that's a heavy invisible chair. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Brandon. Yes, John? You are my oldest and dearest friend. Thank you for saying that. This is for you. Reveal the question. What makes someone a good friend? Yeah, a friend will play video games with you. Sometimes even if it's a game they don't like. Yeah. Also, a friend listens. Uh, they care about your day. Mm -hmm. They put up with your silliness like this. La 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 la, goo, 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 cookie, cookie. That's true. Let's talk about it together. What makes someone a good friend? And we'll see you friends next time on the So-and-So -so Show. Hey. Uh, celery? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm my own dearest and oldest friend. I don't like celery. <laughs> feelings, nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feelings of love. Teardrops running down my faces. Trying to forget. Oh, laser beams. <laughs>